Choosing a new car can sometimes mean having to choose an engine type too. Which is better, four or six cylinders? We're here to help you make the smartest decision with your new car's engine. When buying a new car, often there are a variety of engine choices on the table. Some of the most common engines found in SUVs and cars are V6, so named because their six cylinders are arranged in a V-shape with three on each side and inline fours, so named because their four cylinders are arranged in a straight line. That said, there are also inline sixes as well as boxer fours, so named because their cylinders are horizontally opposed pairs whose piston's action mimics a boxer's punching fists. Regardless of the architecture, choosing between six and four cylinders is not necessarily a more cylinders are better proposition. We're here to help break down the pros and cons of each so that you can make the correct choice. Power and Torque in the power and torque category, sixes are usually king. While modern four-cylinder engines can output impressive numbers, especially for horsepower, a six with its two additional cylinders will frequently best even the beefiest of four-cylinder engines, especially when comparing torque output. Sixes are also larger in terms of displacement, which gives them an additional advantage for making power. The two additional cylinders also means that power will be made more evenly throughout the RPM range, making a six smoother and potentially faster than a four-cylinder powered vehicle. Fuel efficiency. Four-cylinder engines are usually unrivaled at fuel efficiency. They can be made much smaller than sixes while still producing enough power to move a car or SUV, especially when they're turbocharged. Of course, a smaller motor generally uses less gas as the lower number of cylinders means two less cylinders to feed. While this may mean less overall power is made in a four-cylinder than in a six-cylinder, if maximum miles per gallon is the goal, four-cylinders are usually the way to go. Towing Capacity The higher torque output of a six-cylinder engine, and the fact that it makes it more smoothly than a four-cylinder engine, means that usually a six can out-tow a four-handily. While there are some cars with turbocharged four-cylinder engines that have respectable towing limits, when it comes to pulling trailers, usually more cylinders are better. For those hauling frequently, a six is likely the best choice. Turbocharging Turbocharging is the practice of adding a small, exhaust-driven turbine to an engine. That turbocharger compresses the air going into the engine, which increases power. Thus, a turbocharger allows a small engine to make much more power. Most four-cylinder engines are easily turbocharged, thanks to their usually linear design, where the cylinders are all in a straight row. The same would apply to an inline six, but V6 engines are much more complicated to turbocharge, as their V-shaped and twin banks of three cylinders dictates the need for two turbos. Twin turbocharging is more expensive and complicated. If you want a turbocharged engine, four cylinders will likely be your winning selection. Engine stress. Stress on an engine can lead to many negative effects. For one, a heavily stressed engine is often noisier and vibrates more. More stressed engines spend more time at higher RPM. This can lead to overworked, frequently shifting automatic transmissions and noisier drivetrains. It can even affect longevity. A more powerful, torquey 6 will usually be under less stress than a four-cylinder engine, especially in larger SUVs or trucks where the weight of the vehicle is a significant factor. Sixes usually rev lower than fours, which means they typically feel smoother even when producing full power. For bigger vehicles, the bigger engine is usually a quieter and more capable choice. What about the weight? In this case, simple physics dictates the winner. A four-cylinder engine has 33% fewer cylinders than a six-cylinder engine, which means that there is less mass to deal with. While in theory a superlight six could be constructed with exotic materials, in reality a six-cylinder is almost always heavier than a four-cylinder. There are more moving parts to manage too. For a lightweight vehicle, a four-cylinder is the better choice. Which is right for you? There is no clear overall winner for every buyer, because each engine has its positive and negative aspects. For buyers shopping for smaller vehicles who don't expect to tow much, or those who prefer a lighter, more agile vehicle, a four-cylinder is likely the correct choice. 
Likewise, if fuel efficiency is the main concern, a four-cylinder will generally get better gas mileage, and its smaller overall size and fewer moving parts means it's often cheaper to buy a four-cylinder vehicle. Also, powerful turbocharged four-cylinder vehicles abound, which can help minimize the power sacrifice when choosing a smaller engine. If you're seeking to haul heavy loads or a trailer around, a six-cylinder will perform the job better than most four-cylinders. If lower noise and a more tranquil cabin are your priority, such as for a luxury SUV or car, a larger V6 will likely give you the refinement and smoothness you expect. For performance-minded buyers, the larger engine will likely deliver more powerful results, as a V6 will often trump a four-cylinder's horsepower and torque numbers. Thank you for your attention and have a nice day.